Welcome back everyone to the 10th video in the series of why can I not lose weight? Why is my body struggling so much with weight loss? And why is it having so much weight loss resistance? So if you've missed the other videos, make sure you go back and watch them because I do deep dive into specific reasons why you, this may be a struggle for you. I also have a podcast series on this. My podcast is The Female Health Solution. I am Dr. Beth Westy, a women's health and hormone expert, author of the books The Female Fat Solution, The Female Menopause Solution, and these are on Amazon where you can learn more about how to eat for your hormones and your cycle. So here we go. Last video that I'm diving into. My goal with this series was to really introduce different topics and the relationship that it can have with your metabolism. You might have learned a few different things that they all kind of connect together. No system works alone. So when we're looking at actual metabolism, we're looking at reasons that your body might gain weight and struggle to lose it, we have to look at a lot of these different topics. That's why it's not as simple as just saying, oh, only eat this many calories, work out this much every day, and then it's gonna be easy to get to the, your goal weight. No, garbage, absolute garbage. Your metabolism does not work like that. And if you've been struggling, and I'm guessing if you've found this video series that you've been struggling, there's more to it. So the last video that I'm going to talk about here is actually self-belief. This is something that I dive into each week in our uh, group mindset calls that we have in the program because it is so important. I, the thousands of women that I work with, the number of times that you've already gone through some type of nutrition change, program, guidance of some kind, got joined a gym, started a training sessions, you know, oh, I'm doing this boot camp, I'm doing that thing, I'm gonna run a marathon. I, I actually had, this was a while ago, but a friend of mine, she was bound and determined to lose her baby weight and said that I'm gonna run a marathon. With all that running, I've gotta drop this 20 pounds, 15, 20 pounds that she just couldn't get off post baby. She started training. You know what happened for her? She, she ran her marathon. She trained for six months. She'd never run a marathon before, but she was an athlete, you know, so she'd, you know, done other events, you know, 5Ks, 10Ks, stuff like that. But this was her first big race, right? She trained for six months, you know, and her babe was, I think like at least a year when she started training, just to give you some context. But she was determined. She's like, yeah, I've, I've, you know, this has been a year. I gave my body a year, which is a whole other discussion that we'll have. Um, but that I should be able to lose the baby weight and I'll run and I'll just do all the running and I'll eat clean and it should just fall off of me. Again, 15 to 20 pounds. During her training, she started gaining weight and she started freaking out and she was like, well, okay, this is okay because I'm gonna be putting on more miles. Every week I do more miles, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, when she was finally done with her marathon, after six months of training and then running a dang marathon, she was literally two pounds heavier and she had done everything she could restriction wise within safety reason here because she was again running a marathon. She couldn't like not eat. And she was like just completely frustrated, so defeated and so upset the fact that she gained weight and ran a marathon. And when I was talking to her about it and talking to her about her stress, which again, I have a video on stress. So if you missed that, go back and watch it. I talked to her about her stress levels and everything else and how that can contribute to the weight gain, weight loss resistance piece. So again, you can't outrun that. She was like, no, but I don't understand. I was burning so many calories. I tracked it on my watch. I was like, yeah, that's not accurate when your system is under stress because your watch is not tracking the stress impact on your body, on your hormones or anything. <laughs> it's just not. It's one of the most frustrating things. And then from there on out, she would dive into different, you know, uh, really extreme tactics to try and take off weight quickly because she was so frustrated and basically had no self-belief in her own body and in its ability to get to and maintain a healthy weight like it had pre-baby. Now, in reality, the babe that she had was, uh, I mean, it was a tough first babe. Very colicky, did not sleep well at night, um, you know, things like that. So she was not getting regular sleep. She, you know, was working. Um, there was other stressors in her life at the same time. So really there was a lot on her. 
and she was pushing herself and thinking, if I can just take off this weight, one, it was a control thing for her, but two, she was thinking, I'm gonna feel better because I'm skinnier. When really, if you know, if we, she had started working on the stress first, that would have helped her feel better also, right? And still at the end, she was proud that she had completed a marathon, but had actually gained weight in the process, which is not that uncommon when we're looking at the impact of extreme exercise and stress on the female body. So when we talk about self-belief, it's all about moving forward and finding something that's actually working with your body. Stop fighting your system. The body never does anything without a reason. If it's gaining weight and not losing it, there's a reason. And that's what this whole series has been about, was to really dive into specific reasons that this potentially may be why your system is struggling. If it is, there's more things you can do. We can dive into different Dutch testing, hormone testing, to really understand your system at a deeper level. Knowing more about how your body works and functions allows you to take the right steps forward and really make sure that the decisions you're making for your health are the right ones. That you're not gonna be doing things that are too extreme, too stressful, and just kind of leading you in a circle again instead of having you actually take steps forward. So many women try a ton of different things and then you lose the belief in yourself. You get down on yourself and that's honestly one of the number one things that I hear from gals that they are hesitant about with joining the Female Hormone Solution Program. They're like, is this, is this really gonna work for me? I don't know if this is gonna work for me. I've done this many things before. I've done this so many times before and I've failed. A different way to look at it would be that you didn't fail, you just learned another way that it didn't work which stinks and is really mentally frustrating. But again, whoa, the way that we approach this, the reason I designed this program the way that it's designed is I built it based off female physiology. There is no one cookie cutter program. It is not set the same for everybody. It is designed for the female physiology and then we actually take your results into account. We take your goals, your health history, and we address all of these issues with making customized recommendations. That way when you move forward, you understand and knowing then what your specific benchmarks would be along the way. This helps rebuild that self-belief that has been trashed from doing so many things and being told that you're doing it wrong. Building that self-belief, this is the one thing that's gonna keep you going. If you have been stuck, frustrated, told that, oh, you're doing it wrong because you didn't lose 10 pounds in 30 days, which is also not healthy, right? If you've been told that you're crazy, <laughs> then this is something to look into. The number of gals that tell me, yeah, I told so-and-so that, you know, when I eat this, I actually gain weight. And they're like, oh, you're crazy. That's not a thing. It can be a thing. It can be a thing for you, right? We take all of this into account and really go off of what your system needs specifically. That's how you build that self-belief. And when you start to get that self-belief, start understanding how your body works and functions, then you can keep going. And by keeping going, you keep getting results. My favorite thing by going through this program is that I hear from women that I worked with years ago and they say things like, this has been amazing. I have been on track for the past two and a half years. I have continued to lose weight over time and enjoyed vacations, enjoyed holidays with family and friends and never had anything hold me back. That's what you learn by doing this program. Again, it is not a one size fits all. It is customized to you. But this is a big important key piece. So important that I dedicated an entire video to it. So that's what I got for you today. Please let me know if you have any other questions. And again, if you are not on the wait list for the next Female Hormone Solution program, go below this video, click that link, get on the wait list. And I can't wait to see you there.